Today, Cooper and I are at Dorset Tower, 2 and a half hours from Toronto. As you enter the park, first you stop at the office to pay the admission fee. I paid $17.50 for one car. Then the parking lot number one is just on the right side of the registration office. There are two porta potties and trash can at the parking. As you continue driving up, parking lot number two is closer to the tower. Again, there are two porta potties and trash can here. I've been here almost 25 years ago. I might be wrong, but I don't remember paying admission fee and having anything else other than the tower itself. Now it's a well-maintained attraction with information center, picnic tables, Adirondack chairs, lookout points, heritage museum, and a trail. They even had a drinking water station and a bowl for dogs. First thing first, we signed our names on the guest book. Then it was time to climb up the tower. Dogs are not allowed on towers. So I left Cooper in the car momentarily. Since I did CN Tower climb recently, this climb felt really short and easy, but it was definitely scarier with open metal stairs. It only takes about five minutes to the top and along the way, there are a couple of viewing platforms. Dorset Tower was originally built in 1922 as a fire lookout tower. The current tower was built in 1967 as a scenic lookout tower, and it's higher than the original one at 30 meters or 100 feet. Near the top, you get rewarded with this amazing view. It was overcast a little bit and lots of leaves had fallen already, but still it was so picturesque. Very top is enclosed, but few steps below is everyone's social media picture taking spot. Coming down was even scarier because I could see through below the steps. After I got Cooper, it was time to explore the rest of the park. Then we started Dorset Tower Lookout Trail with ease. It started with open flat trail covered with beautiful leaves and the trail was very well marked. A third way into the trail, we were getting deeper into the woods and the rocks were getting a little slippery. Still, we didn't expect what's to come. Halfway into it was getting rugged and we had to climb some rocks. Oh my gosh. Along the way, you'll pass by Dorset Heritage Museum. As the map indicated, rest of the way was completely uphill. It was rated as moderate, but it felt like difficult for me. No wonder there was no one on the entire trail. Where are you going, Coops? I guess that's one way. <sighs> Although it's challenging, you're going to enjoy this fun trail if you like hiking. At the end of the trail, we came out of the parking lot number one. If you're looking for a quick day trip, I highly recommend this Dorset Tower. Thank you so much for watching.